What's up dudes and dudettes? Welcome to another episode of Painting the Pipes with Mr. Hooliganisms. Done in somewhat of a binging with Babish kind of style. Anyone? No one? Okay, moving on. So, in the last episode of Painting the Pipes with Mr. Hooliganisms, you'd notice that I did not have any gloves. This left my hands very, very paint caked. Caked in paint dust. Right? And I was using a steel wool to buff off the old paint. Now, there's nothing wrong with doing that. It's just you'd be there for a very long time. So, here you can see I now have what is called a steel brush that I bought for like I don't know five bucks five bucks and it lasted pretty much the header pipes and the uh, I guess you call it the secondary pipe the pipe that goes underneath the frame anyways so the thing you want to know is so these pipes are stainless steel when using a metal brush you want to use the same material as the material you are scrubbing so say if this is like for example stainless steel pipe and I am using a brass or some other metal kind of brush that could invite some corrosion and unwanted results so you really want to use the same material brush on the same material item that you are brushing. So stainless steel to stainless steel. I also didn't have a breather mask or a respirator when I first did this. You really don't want to get this stuff in your lungs. So for this video, I did go out and get a dust mask and respirator. You really want to protect your lungs when you do this. You don't want to get this stuff in there. It's bad stuff, uh, not good. So protect your lungs so and I also didn't record the entire process of scrubbing off all the paint because it's pretty straightforward you scrub off the, as much paint as you can before you do any kind of painting so moving on now that the pipes are completely removed of paint now it's time to clean them and we're gonna use 99% rubbing alcohol is what I use. You can use acetone or some other form of cleaning agent, a degreaser if you want. Uh, I decided to use the 99% alcohol because that was the closest at hand and it works pretty well. So when you're removing all the debris and dust and grease and all the nasty stuff off the material that you want to be painting, you want to be incredibly thorough. You don't want any of this stuff on there when you get to the painting section and the paint doesn't stick because you didn't clean your material or your item well enough and so the paint doesn't adhere and stick and it flakes off and it just doesn't turn out nice and pretty. This piece right here, the end section, the under the frame section, was a bit tough. I did the best I could. Get some alcohol on there. Yep. Wipe it down. Wipe it down really nice. And yeah, all see see all that black stuff. Yeah, that's 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 all stuff you don't want on there when you do the painting. So you want to get all that stuff off and just keep just keep scrubbing it and scrubbing and scrubbing and scrubbing and still scrubbing. And scrub some more. And uh yep, yeah, there you go. Yeah, try and get in between the in between the pipes is best as you can I actually did I actually did this twice before I painted one here in the garage and the other time uh, the next morning before I painted uh, just just to make double sure that I got all of the as much as the debris and dust off that I could like I said you don't want that stuff on there when you paint like I said the paint won't stick you guys get it all right, so now that the pipes are, for the most part, wiped down pretty well, you give it a good inspect and see if you can see any spots that you missed and uh, 
if you haven't missed any spots, uh, go ahead and box them up or put them in some kind of carrying device. And it might be good to do a little bit of pre-reading on the directions of the paint and the primer that you are going to be applying to your project. And when you're done reading, go ahead and get your paint and your primer set in there and, oh well, yeah, and have yourself a drink of canned house wine. Not very good. Uh, I decided, oh, what the hell, it's a uh, $1.50. I'm feeling a little adventurous today. It was not good at all. It was very disgusting. It tasted like dirty gym socks. Anyways, there you have it. We're all ready to paint the pipes. See you guys next time.